Good day and welcome to another C++ video. Today I'm going to show you how to export function, basic function from your DLL and how to link uh, your DLL directly into another project. So the static linking is always is also known as uh, implicit linking or uh, static load uh, linking. So I'm going to create a DLL project here. And I'm gonna add a cpp file name function. I'm gonna define uh, two function, add functions, and subtraction function, addition and subtraction. Uh, let's say functions and a header file. Functions. And just add a splitter here. Approve that. So the export function, you need to have the declaration specification argument in front of the function and having DLL export as shown here. So a function, addition function that's gonna return a double by adding two doubles. Let's name it add, double A, double B. Go, another function, declaration, specification, DLL export, double sub, double A, double B. Go. We're going to define those functions in the cpp file. So I'm going to include header and include function. So I'm going to have add function here. B and I have sub function, double A, double B, and we're gonna return A minus B. Here we go, we're gonna compile this in release mode and see if uh, the DLL.lib is generated. So we go to open file folder, and we go to DLL release, and yes, we do have a dll.lib. That's what I need. So from here, I'm going to start another project, like console application project, very quick, simple. Console application, I'm going to put it in project, one head up, and name it like uh, static linking. OK, next, done. So we're going to just change property in the solutions. We're going to start by static linking project. And from here, we go to properties and we go to linker entry and we go to input and we specify here dll.lib. And we uh, specify the path of that lib file to in general additional library directories. We go to edit, we go to project directories, project directories, one level up, DLL, and set the configuration macro. Configuration. OK. And now we need to specify the path of your uh, function.h in project directory, one level up, DLL, and DLL. Apply, and that seems okay for me. Fair enough. Yeah, it works. So we go include, and we have the header file here. So we are able to use now add function and subtraction functions. So let's try this. We need include 
I use stream go come on system we're gonna declare two variables a and b okay enter first number now we're gonna read the user input number we're gonna read the second number storage in B I can I read Oop. not count by C out C. add result will equal to add functions that we can use it here because it's exported and a B now we're gonna use we're gonna call the sub function There you go. A B. There you go. Let's try this. A. There you go. So let's say the first number will be 150. Second number, let's say 100. We know the uh, addition will be 250, and subtraction result will be 50. So there you go. Now we can use our DLL implicit in implicit way. Uh, we managed to link it statically. And the next video, I'm going to show you how to load your DLL in the runtime. So dynamic linking. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoy it. Thank you.